I want you to do something before we start this course about creativity. This is a very practical course. There is no theory about creativity. There is just doing it and see how I do it to be creative, to push your boundaries a little. But first, I want you to take a look at these three animations to get an idea what sort of questions I ask myself and you can ask yourself too. Let's start with the first one. Have you ever been driving somewhere and suddenly realized that you were thinking some strange thought, like what birthday balloons smell like? Maybe you're remembering a note that you wrote to your fifth grade pen pal or something that you wish you had said earlier on in the day. Basically, do you ever have a wandering mind? It can kind of feel like the opposite of structured thought, as if your brain's GPS is on the fritz, just taking turns at random. And it can be particularly frustrating when you're trying to focus on a problem or an idea and two minutes later you catch yourself wondering what it's like to be a cloud or who invented pockets. So to give you an idea, do you have a wandering mind? This is how you can think about creativity. Let's take a look at another one. What is funny about this movie is that it uh, tests you. So you can really find out in this video if you are right or left brained. Let's look at it a little bit further. Well, you get the idea. And now I want to show you one more video. It's also from BuzzFeed. And this is about whether you are a visual thinker. I love the start of this animation. Let's have a look at this one. Here's a question. Do you sometimes have difficulty remembering people's names, but you're great at remembering their faces? Or maybe you're really good at moving odd-shaped furniture around corners, or packing your car full with so much stuff everyone told you it was going to be impossible. If so, you might just be a visual thinker. How about this? Try and remember an event from your past. What happens? Do you find yourself remembering something fuzzy like the significance or emotion or mood around that event? Or do you remember specific scenes and images? For some people, it turns out that images and spatial relationships seem to dominate their thinking process. Basically, they think in pictures. It's thought that upwards of 60% of people are in this category, and it's a continuum, not all or none. Some people just think this way more than others. For example, for some people, and this might be you, a messy desk isn't a problem at all. You know where everything is, but you know where it is in relation to everything else. So when someone comes along and cleans that desk up, supposedly helping you organize, you completely feel lost and you can't find anything. The same sort of spatial thinking that helps you... Okay, this was the third one. Of course you uh, understand by now that I'm totally a visual thinker and I cannot organize very well. Why do I make this course? Because I think that creativity is not learned by getting the concepts or doing step one, step two, step three, or understanding what creativity is. I think what you want, that I hope it, <laughs> that is what you want, is to become a little bit more creative. And meaning by that, you are going to do new things. Uh, where you set goals for yourself, you're going to do a little bit extra, a little bit out of the ordinary. And this is the, you can say, the, the mindset in which I have made this course. 